Can you see it? There we go. Shallow one. I wanted to get uh, 2 Corinthians, the second chapter. Yeah, I'll get the signs. Just bring that out and start reading Multitask. Well, now they the government of Israel, so that means they're above us, right? We gotta do what they say. <laughs> How many governments we gotta listen to? They they put you in a captivity with the Saul's ambassador. Oh yeah. The enemy. She'll help keep all the slaves in line. Right. She'll let Massa know. The nigga woman. She'll let Massa know when you're doing wrong. They'll get four cops on you in quick. Yeah. Come on, come on. Come come get this motherfucker. All right, all the people. And they say the black woman God. They just call the cops on you with quick. She like sexual. She got it. Who's the police officer? Right. She can't see what else she can't wait for. So I, I she got it. But the cops, they got the, they got Jupiter's evil. Yeah, the Russia, Russia used Lord Chuhi. That's because they claim to be Russia. Uh, claims to be the remnant of the Byzantine Empire because <laughs> after the the Turks came through sat Constantinople and a lot of them did flee to Russia but it ain't the ones running shit now they, they fled to, that's why you got a uh, like you seen that big ass church in uh, St. Peter's Square that Russian you know it's got the balls on top of it right 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 that that all their architecture that's a Byzantine architecture are we going yeah that's why Russia got the double headed eagle they claim to be they pretty much claim to be the remnant of Rome. You go ahead and bring out that Corinthians. That's good enough, ain't it? Oh, crooked ass camera. <laughs> That's good enough. Second Corinthians 2. I just want to read all of them. Is it Second Corinthians? Yeah, 2. I was just reading this out. I was just reading this out. Well, 2 Corinthians 2 and 1. But I determined this with myself that I would not would not come again to you in heaviness. For if I make you sorry, who is he then that maketh me glad? But the same which is made sorry, sorry by me. And I wrote this same unto you. Least when I come, came, you, I should have sorrow from them of whom I ought to rejoice, having confidence in you all that my joy is the joy of you all. We're out of us. Oh, hey, that's our joy, though, is watching other brothers do the work. Teaching brothers, go ahead. At what other joy are you going to get? That's it. That's it. That's it. Doing the work. Doing the work. They, they know happiness out here. They know love out here. The only love you got out here is with brothers doing the work. That's it. Go ahead. For out of my affliction and anguish of heart, I wrote unto you with many tears, not that ye should be grieved, but that ye might know that love the love which I have more abundantly unto you. Yep. But if any have caused grief, he have not grieved me, but in part. And that's the only love that there is in the world. This brother's doing the truth. That's it. There ain't no other love. Go ahead. That, that I may not overcharge you all. Sufficient to, to such a man is the punishment which was inflicted of many. So that counterwise ye ought rather to forgive him and comfort him. He's perhaps such a one should be swallowed up with over my sorrow. Oh yeah, so you're supposed to be forgiving. Forgiving. You're supposed to forgive your brothers, you know what I'm saying? They fucking up and doing bad. You're supposed to be careful. Go ahead. Where, where, I proceed. Yeah, just wait till this raggedy coat of us with uh, big giant piece of shit. You know how long we can put curses on this I hate the goddamn coat of us. Everybody. Yeah, and they right, cause it's, it's, you know, right, right, right. Yeah, so I, it's like a, it's like a, 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 whatever thing that transport cattle. It's like number of pigs on that motherfucker. Yes, yeah, pigs. 
a swine hole. <laughs> That's some funny shit, though. That goddamn bus, man. If my car broke down this week, I had to ride a bus. Hmm. If you hate getting on the bus, it's just raggedy as hell. And look, the gas prices dropped. The gas is cheapest it's ever been now, right? Do you think the Coda bus prices went down? No. No. So right now, it's actually cheaper for the first time ever to drive than to ride a Coda bus. So why the fuck would you, what, what's the incentive to even ride that raggedy motherfucker? It's, it costs $2 for one way. So it's gonna cost you $4 just to get somewhere and back. But now with the gas price, is $4 to get me to drive all over the city. Go ahead. Some bullshit. Wherefore, I beseech you that ye would confirm your love toward him. For this, for this end also do I write that I might know the proof of you, whether ye be obedient in all things. To whom ye forgive anything, I forgive also. For if I forgive anything, to whom I forgave it. All right, we had brothers that was in our camp before. Ah, they fell out. So they came back and, you know, I'm sorry, man, I was going off. Hey, we didn't forgive them. Yeah. Wait, wait, what I even think about? All right, you back in. Let's go. Let's get it going. Let's get it moving. Just don't be fucking up again. <laughs> but yeah, it definitely ain't going to happen. <laughs> but you know, that's just the spirit we want to be in because... Because we learned through experience anyway. For example, yeah. like when Dave fell out, we took him back in. He came out for two times. Yeah. That was it after that. I mean, yeah, but you were supposed to be forgiven. You know what I mean? Go ahead. To, to whom? To whom you forgive anything, I forgive also. And for if I forgive anything, to whom I forgave it, for your sakes forgive I it in the person of Christ. These Satan should get an advantage of you. Sorry. Yes. These, yeah. These Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Right. Cause you can't be holding grudges against brothers or nothing. You let the Satan get the upper hand doing shit like that. Go ahead. For, furthermore, when I came to Tar... 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 Taurus, you know what Taurus. that is? Where is that? That's Troy. That's Who? T-R-O-A-S. Troas? That's, Troas. That's Troy. You know, like the Battle of Troy? Yeah. That, that's what that's talking about. That's the city of Troy. From where the Battle of Troy happened. You know, with Achilles and Hector and all that. Go ahead. To, uh, to preach Christ's gospel in a door was open unto me of the Lord. I had no rest in my spirit because I found not Titus, my brother, who had taken my leave of them. I went from thence into Macedonia. <clears throat> now thanks be unto God, which always calls us to triumph in Christ and make us manifest the Savior of us, of his uh, knowledge by us in every place. We are unto God a, see, a sweet Savior. Oh, there it is. Read that again. To God, a sweet savior of Christ, in them that are saved and in them that perish. Right, because to the Lord we're a sweet savior. If you read back in the Old Testament, you know Moses and the boy, the priest, Aaron and the priest. If some if somebody in Israel would sin, they'd have to put up an offering, a burnt offering, right? Or like uh you forget something? What you need? Yeah, go Alright. But like when Noah uh when Noah got off the ark, he uh, he he made an offering to the Lord. You know, kill some animals, and then and it said that he but the sweet savor went up to the Most High because he burned that meat. But now that sweet savor is a sacrifice of us coming out here teaching. This is the new sacrifice. With the Lord, when he died on the cross. That was the main sacrifice. And, and he, what did he say? If you want to follow me, you got to pick up your cross and you got to follow me. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to follow the Lord's footsteps. Because what did the Lord say? He said, uh, let me get that scripture, man, real quick. Just talking on my words. Let me get the word. The Lord's the Lord. What is that, Luke? Trying to be quick, boy. Luke, uh, is that Luke 10? 11. Or is it? That's actually a couple of them. Alright, one second. Let me get it. Nah, it's 14. I'm always getting confused. Alright, uh, Luke 14. Luke 14 to 26. If any man come to me and hate not his father, 
mother and wife and children and brethren and sister Jay and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. <laughs> That's pretty clear, right? That the Lord put up the ultimate sacrifice when he, got, he died on the cross, right? So we supposed to bear our cross too and follow in the Lord's footsteps. You know, so the Lord, that was a sign of uh, selflessness. He wasn't being selfish and he could have got out of the crucifixion. Just told the Pharisees everything they wanted to hear. You know what I mean? Yeah, he, right. You know, he could have got out. He said, no, the hell with y'all. Mm, mm, mm. You no, know, he had he had to do what needed to be done. And he didn't, you know what I'm saying? He girded up his wounds like a man and just did his deal. Mm. I'll go ahead with that. Hey guys. Old lady are trying to get on the bus. I got a bunch of body washes, deodorants, oh, yeah. body sprays, name brand. I got candy bars, beef jerky. <laughs> I got everything. Yeah. I'm just trying to sell some cheap, make four dollars. Candy bars you got? Uh, everything. Greasy, the big, the big greasy bars, the big Hershey yeah. bars, uh, cookies and cream, name it. What you selling them for? I only got a couple dollars on them. Uh, you can get these two for a dollar. You can get. I don't need meat. Oh, you don't eat meat? No, I don't eat meat. Shit, I don't got a dollar anyway. <laughs> what can I get for a dollar? A dollar? I'll give you one. Of these. I only got a dollar, dude, for real. Alright. I just uh, bought some coffee, that was it. The oh, deodorant and shit. How much you sell the deodorant and stuff? Two dollars a piece. Damn, that's the store price. Nah, they're five dollars in there. It's it's all the old spice. You can get two for five. You been, the, you been to Walmart lately? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. nah. Old Spice, Dub. What man. is that stuff? Uh, I think I got some hacks too. Oh, you wanna have that camera, bro? Hell no. You don't like chocolate? Uh, uh, I found it. You found it, boy. Yeah. Found it in the store. <laughs> no, like, nah, 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 I, I found it uh, uh, on the back of a truck somewhere. <laughs> you get this too? Uh, we got some. We got some free food. We got some free food. Some free food. Some free drink. You thirsty? Yeah. Okay, we drink this water. You'll never be thirsty again. Yeah, be thirsty. Hell yeah. Go change the two. Change the two. Oh, here it gets. I got a Here, just give me some else that you can eat. Alright, here. Yeah. Go ahead. Chocolate board? No, I'm going to go chocolate board. Give me a spray. Tim, I was shy to answer the sentence today. That's cool. To her, if thou knowest the gift of God, and who is that saith to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of me, and he will give, uh, and he would, right. would give him, the right, give him water. Peace. The woman said unto him, I'm gonna read it. Go ahead. No. no, I'm good. What is that? Body washes. I'm good. <laughs> that's a come up, though. Yeah, that's yeah, some expensive shit. That's right. good. That's my back to this. Uh, yeah, just now read what you your liver, liver, uh, rivers of living water. Read that. John 4 and, and 9. Then it saith the woman of Samaria to him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, ask of drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. And how shall I answer and said unto her, If thou knowest the gift of God, who is that saith to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of me, and he would have given thee living water. Right. Woman, that we got stuff for uh, sale too, but we just giving it out for free. I do. I don't the know. Woman why. said unto him, freely "Sir, receive freely give. Yeah, freely give, freely receive. That's what they do. Coffee, Sir, That's an evil act in itself, man. I'm sorry. Hey, get back to that Corinthians. Second Corinthians two. 14, now, no, 15. 
16, sorry. To the one who are the savior of death unto death, and to the other the savior of life unto life. I'll read that part again all the way back from the, talking about the word sweet savior. So we are- I got interrupted. So we are to God a sweet savior of Christ and them that are saved and in them that perish. All right, because us coming out here teaching, we, we sacrifice ourselves. We present ourselves as a living sacrifice. So you could, cause anything can come out here. You come out here and someone can shoot you. You know what I'm saying? You got some, anything can happen. Uh, so the cops could come out here, beat the shit out of you, shoot you, lock you up. You know what I'm saying? Your wife could leave you cause she's seen you on the corner like a, looking all crazy and shit. I mean, anything can happen. People will turn against you. So, but this right here is, uh, this pleases the most high what we doing. This is like a sacrifice. And us out here teaching, that's sending up that sweet savior. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead. For, uh, to the one, you are the savior of death unto death, and to the other, the savior of life unto life. And who is sufficient for these things? For we are not as many which corrupt the word of God. Oh, for we are not as many. Why did he say that? For we are not as many who corrupt the word of God. So who is that talking about? Who is that many? What does the word many mean? You know what that means? The I mean, the Broadway. The Broadway, right. <laughs> Down on Broadway. Oh, Broadway, for a second. Hey, but look, because these the many is talking about all these churches. They corrupt the word of God. All these, uh, all these fake ass Israelite groups out here, like IUIC, the G U uh, O C C's, and all the other C C's. And, PKs and all that, all that bullshit out there. You got all these fake ass Israelite groups out here uh, corrupting the word of the Most High, teaching lies, teaching things that they ought not. You got cops playing Israelite dress up. What you got? That's some madness now. Uh, uh, yeah. For we are not as many which corrupt the word of God, but as sincerity but as of God, in the sight of God, speak we in Christ. Yeah, because we come out here in sincerity. We're not coming out here to make a profit. We're not selling t-shirts. Like, because a lot of these churches, what do they do? Like Nathaniel and them, the IUIC Israelites, and all these other Israelite groups, what do they do? They selling t-shirts. You know, they selling memorabilia, some Israelite memorabilia. Yeah. Just like they selling DVDs and all kinds. They, they, they turn, make merchandise out of men. We ain't doing that. We ain't asking for no money out here. We give a fuck about no money. We got all the money we need is right here. Because the Lord said your gold and silver is cankered. You heap together treasure for the last day. So what you gonna do with all the Federal Reserve notes? When they, when they about to crash the, the economy anyway, it's just gonna be worthless. Heaping treasure together for the last days. And that's just madness when you think about it. You know the end's coming. You know the fire's coming, but still you think you're going, you're going to save all this money up just so it can get melted, get get disintegrated. You got more than that? Well, that tells you they don't really believe in the truth. Because they, they, they think in their mind that, that, no, the last days ain't coming. The Bible's just bullshit, but I'm going to use it to get paid. Put that shit off. Yep. That's not being that. That's not having faith. Nope. That's why you shouldn't even care about money. If you got it, if you got you got it, spend it. Shit. Okay. You better. Uh, well, don't you know? What I mean? Don't waste it like a dumbass. But if your brothers need help, help them out. You know what I'm saying? What you got? It's Ecclesiastes two and one. I said in my heart, go to now. I approve thee with mirth. Therefore, enjoy pleasure. Behold, this also is vanity. I said of laughter, I was just reading this earlier, go ahead. I said of laughter, it is mad. In the mirth, what do of him? Yeah, the in the mirth, what what do what it's what is it? What good is it? Keep going. I sought in my heart to give myself into wine, yet acquaintedly my heart with wisdom, and to lay hold on folly, so I might see what was that good for the sons of men, which they should do under the sun all the days of their life. Uh, keep going. That's that's I mean it's vanity though. Really, everything is vanity. The only thing that's not vanity is serving the most high. 
fuck every everything else is secondary, okay? Is of non importance. Everything. Here you go. Ezekiel 12 and 21. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel, saying, The days are prolonged, and every vision faileth? Ha. Tell them, therefore, thus saith the Lord, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say unto them, The days are at hand, and the effect of every vision, for there shall be no more any vain vision, nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. For I am the Lord. I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged, for in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it, said the Lord Power. Again, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, the vision that he seeth is for many days to come. Oh, we still got plenty of time. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Right, right. Like, like the scriptures say, the Lord come like a thief in the night. Ooh, we. He, he could come right now. <laughs> That'd be a blessing. <laughs> That'd be a real well, You know blessing. we wanted to come down too. This right hell, now. Right yeah, now. Right now. You know? Every day I wake up in the morning, first thing I'm doing, I check the news to see if the missiles, right. missiles started flying yet. And I'm disappointed every day, like, damn. You know, he's like, what the fuck? This is some bullshit. Launch the goddamn missiles. That's heavy in your soul, too. Yeah, it's heavy. It's yeah. like, because I seen the dream, I seen the vision of the mushroom cloud. Yeah, sure did. We all seen sure the did. mushroom sure cloud. Did. Sure did. And one day we're going to walk outside and we're going to see that mushroom cloud. <laughs> and it's going to be beautiful. Well, to us, it's going to be beautiful. Yeah, that's what we wait for. You know what I mean? Indeed, their hearts are going to fail. They're going to shit themselves. That's right. Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, the vision that he seeth is for many days to come. And he, and he prophesieth of the times that are far off. Yep. Therefore say unto them, thus saith the Lord power, there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, but the word that I have spoken shall be done, said the Lord Power. So the, yeah, the Lord ain't bullshit, man. The, this motherfucker talking to him. Get that nigga on camera. Oh, oh no, nah, he's talking to all that's his bitch. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nah, he's talking to that old man. That's a little bitch. Oh, she's bitching at him. Those are curses for you. That's a curse for your ass. <laughs> That's a bad man. You know how bad you feel when your woman behind you talking shit to you? Yeah. That's a terrible feeling. In the public, too? It's, yeah. Shit. Megan, yeah, embarrassing her husband. Oof. Because they have no care, man. They have no care. Because a woman's job is supposed to make the husband look great in front of other people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. If anything, well, yeah. keep her mouth shut first and foremost. That's some sort of shit right there. That is salty. <laughs> hey, the scripture say your enemy be those of your own household. The main oh, enemy is your shit. family. That's a that's a that's a uh, reward of rebellions. That's a reward, reward of rebellion. When you rebellion, that's what the Lord do to you. It's that that, that, uh, that demon of rebellion. Yeah, you're right. I don't feel for motherfuckers no more. Nah, really, I don't mm -hmm. feel either, man. If he ain't out here doing this or supporting this or believing in this, then fuck him. Yeah, because if because they'd rather support their slave masters than their liberator. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because we're really, this really is a country of Uncle Tom's. It really is. Just look around you. That's all you see. Uncle Tom's. Sambo type niggas. It's, your boy, it's, a, it's a whole nation of Stevens. Oh. Hey, get back to that Corinthians. There's more juice in that. I hate these people, man. But you can tell it's the Lord to put that spirit in deep sleep on them. But who in their right mind would want to live their life as a slave? You know what I mean? That's the Lord that did that to them. But these people, they in a deep trance. I mean, they're so far gone, it ain't funny. I mean, this shit is so bad and so hopeless out here. And these people love it. They like it like that. Where were you at? Two, no. Yeah, let's get there. 
2 Corinthians 3 verse 1. For we begin again to command ourselves, or need we, or as some others, epistles, or uh, it's like epistles of condemnation to you, or letters of condemnation from you. We are our epistle written in our hearts, known and read of all men. For as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistles of Christ manifest by us, written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living God, not in tables of stone, but in fleshly tables of the heart. And such trust have we through Christ to God work, that we are sufficient of ourselves to think of anything as of ourselves, for our sufficiency is of God, who also have made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. But if the manifestation... Right, because the letter killeth me. Because everybody out here is just, uh, done broke the law of Moses. All of us are really... If we was all to be judged by, according to the law, there, there'd be nobody left. We'd all be dead. But we've all broke the law. If any man out here done uh, had sex with a woman who was not a virgin, guess what? You're, you're guilty of death. You gotta get put to death according to the law, right? But that's why the scripture said that. Go ahead, keep going. With the ministration of death written and engraved in stones was glorious so that the children of Israel could not steadfastly hold the face of Moses for the glory of his, uh, for the glory of his countenance, which uh, glory was to be, was to, sorry. Which glory was to be done away. Remember that, the, the Old Testament said Moses' face shone. Remember that part? Go ahead. How many, I mean, how shall not the ministration of the Spirit be? Sure, we're both speaking about. Yeah, and his face shone. Yeah. <laughs> That's where some, some people try to say it grew horns. <laughs> but don't even worry, man. That's a bug out. Well, if you go into the, Cat the Vatican today, Moses got horns on his head. Yeah, I saw the picture. Yeah, because they they say this they translated that scripture that Moses' face shown as he grew horns in his head, which is complete madness. It tells you it tells you kind of crazy shit the Catholic Church is teaching. And the Catholic Church is bugged out. I mean, that's just pure paganism, idolatry, devil worshiping, child molestation. It's everything but the Bible. That's pretty much what you get from the Catholics in any other church. Yeah, most high downloaded did a quick download. Uh, was this? <laughs> Can you imagine the wisdom he was in? in this yeah, because Moses went up to the on the mountain. That's where the Most High's chariot was. That's right. Lord only knows what he's seen up there. Hell, the mountain to this day is a different color than all the other mountains around. It. It's dark. It's burnt. It looked like it was burnt like at one time. Yeah. That very exact mountain looked like it's burnt to this day very day man they said it in the mountain quite greatly that's right there in the exodus 20. Mm -hmm. exodus 19 and 20 it tells you all about it sure. and that's funny too you watch all these ancient alien shows and they always talk about ufos but they don't never mention the exodus 20 do they because they they're just a bunch of parrots right. they don't understand it anymore. they're a bunch of silver tongued parrots right. they, they don't really study shit. They're just con artists, repeating what the next man said so they can make a quick buck off your dumb asses. Go ahead. I don't really... Uh, for... Okay, how, sh uh, how shall not the administration of the... I'm saying that right. Of the Spirit be rather glorious. For if the administration of condemnation be glory, much more doth the administration of righteousness exceed in glory. For even that which we made glorious had no glory in its disrespect, by reason of the glory that excelled. For if, for if that which is done away was glorious, much more than which remaineth is glorious. So, yeah, keep on. This is a part. Uh, this is an important part right here. See then that we have such hope. We use great plainness of speech. Yeah, we no, isn't that what we do? That's what we get criticized for. We come by and we use great plainness of speech. You know, we call people dumbass sons of bitches. <laughs> you know what I mean? We call women whores. We use make we make our speech so plain that, that, that there's no 
what, what's the uh, what's the words I'm looking for? So so it, it, there's nothing lost in translation. The meaning. So there is no debate of what we mean when we say. When we say something, you know exactly what we mean. You know what I'm saying? Right. We, we plainness of speech. Yeah. You, you know when when I speaking in code language, using a bunch of big words, nobody knows the meaning of. We we speak in plainness of speech. There ain't no doubt about what we say. Well, that's pretty much why a lot of motherfuckers is mad at us anyway, because they can't understand this plain stuff. Oh yeah. They take it personal, man. It's, it's breaking their, it's, it's breaking their, it's, it's getting inside of them, you know. Yep. Hey, because the scripture they've said is a simplicity. Yep, so, yep. A simplicity, simplicity. in Yahweh shot. Yep. Go ahead, uh, keep going. Press it up. And now as Moses, which put a veil over his face, and the children of Israel could not steadfastly look to the end of that which was accomplished. But their minds were blinded, for unto this day remained the same veil untaken away in the, re in the reading of the Old Testament. Hey, now what you just said? That they mad because they can't get it? Yeah. You know, they yeah. blinded yeah. to this day. The same ones that was blinded thousands of years ago, still blinded. Same motherfuckers. Same spirits. Men are same exact spirits was walking on the earth again today. Ain't nothing new under the sun. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. It's the same shit. Well, that's what people say that all the time. A uh, 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 different day, same shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> but we all, with open face, beholding as, uh, beholding as a, a glass, the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. Yep. We have renounced the hidden things of this ministry, not walking in craftiness. Yep, we don't do that. Nor Handling the word of God deceitfully. Yeah, handling the word of God deceitfully. Just like all them fake ass Israelite groups on YouTube be doing it. They all tell, teaching the Cornelius and the Edomite and all this other crazy shit. Teaching that there's mermaids. What what else? <laughs> what what kind of kind of madness they be teaching? What you say? Esau can be saved. They say yeah, they teach Esau can be saved, Hamites can be saved. They they all uh, Yeah, Hamites are brothers. All that Islam, that's beyond oh, madness. Man. All these churches teaching lies. You know, teaching people it's okay to eat pork and just do whatever the hell you want because we're under grace. You can do it in the butt. And they'll use the exact same scriptures he just read to prove that we don't have to follow any laws. But they don't understand what this is saying. Go ahead. But by, man, uh, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Right. So that's why uh, there's nothing we do that is hidden. Everything we do is out in the open. Oh, you ever hear people talk about uh, the, the occult? Oh, shit. You ever hear people talk about the occult like a lot of these spiritual teachers out there? They'll teach you that the word occult is, is not a bad word. They'll say it just means hidden. Well, that is bad because the truth's not supposed to be hidden. You're not supposed to be an occultist. What's that? I'll go ahead. Uh, John 18:20. Yahweh Shai answered him, "I spoke openly to I spoke openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple, whether the Jews also resort, and in secret have I said nothing." There you go. Everything we do is open. We come right out in the open with everything. We come out here on the streets. We're not up in a building hiding. KKK, good shit. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, like the clan, they wear hoods and shit. Because a lot of people, they won't do this because they ain't scared. They don't have a courage enough. They, they ain't got uh, balls enough to come out here. they right in front of everybody, not just not giving a fuck, you know? But they like scared little weak bitches. 
they're scared to do the work of the Lord. Because they're more afraid of what men think than what the most high thinks. That, that's a fucked up place to be, you know what I mean? Hmm. I, I look at these people like they're rats and roaches. You know what I mean? You worry, you ain't worried about what a roach is thinking about you. You're like, but I wonder if this roach is gonna laugh at. No, I step on the roach. You know what I'm saying? Spray it's spraying with some rain and shit. You know what I mean? Vaporize. Put out a trap for him. <laughs> yeah, turn up. Yeah, yeah. You turn the light on and the roaches yeah. scatter. You know what I mean? You want to be friends with the roaches? Yeah, you want to hang out with roaches? <laughs> well, essentially all. I got exact. I got a precept for that. You want to be friends with roaches? That's a good question. I got a. <laughs> In aquarium full of roaches. <laughs> They, you know, that's the mind of them people, though. That's they they mind, got the though. mind of a roach. Because you know what? Them motherfuckers don't condemn. They see one of their brothers do wrong shit, going to foul shit. They won't condemn them. Don't, don't condemn. Nah, they tell them they going hard. That's right. They right, about, right, oh, you right, going right, hard. Right, right, right. They be like, I fuck, fuck. Oh, you, got, you doing what you doing. You eating, brother. You, you know yeah, what yeah, you, you got to do. Yeah, yeah, you got to get yours. You got to get yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They, roaches, they, man. You don't need to have company with no shit like that. Roaches. Mm, mm. Hold on, I got, I got a bad scripture, man. Well, good scripture. Uh, if I can find it real quick. Oh, man, where is this? Let me I know read this real quick. Go ahead, this bring is, uh, Ecclesiastes 23 and 15. The man that is accustomed to a previous word will never be reformed all the days of his life. Two sorts of men multiply sin, and the third will bring wrath. A hot mind is as a burning fire. It will never be quenched till it be consumed. A fornicator in the body of his flesh would never cease till he have taken kindled a fire. All bread is sweet to a whoremonger. He would not leave off till he died. A man that breaketh wedlock, saying thus in his heart, Who seeth me? I am compassed about with darkness. The walls cover me, and nobody seeth me. Yeah, nobody sees me. What need I, I to fear? The Most High would not remember my sins. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men. That is a beautiful scripture. And knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. Because the Lord's spirit is in everybody. His spirit's even in the wicked. Ooh. He controls everything. everything. So how the hell are you going to escape the eyes of the most high? <laughs> but that's the mind That's the mind of the wicked. That's the spiritualist motherfucker right there. Yeah. Because, you know what I'm saying? That's a good scripture right there. Where's that? There what, what's the number more. on that? There might be some more. Uh, Ecclesiastes 23, and I'm at 9, 30, right. 20 now. He knew all things ever, ever they were created. So also after they were perfected, he looked upon them all. This man shall be punished in the streets of the city. And where he suspected not, he shall be taken. Thus shall it go also with the wife that leave it. That's it. Yeah, but they gonna get theirs pretty much. You know what I mean? You know, what goes around comes around. I got a scripture, uh, the back when he's he set up, he's like, he asked that question. It was like, you gonna make friends with roaches? You know what I'm saying? You don't hang out with rats and roaches and go go on a camping trip with them, hanging out with rats. You know what I'm saying? Kicking them with roaches. Yeah, talking about, yeah. Talking about the good times together. That's it, what I was caught up in the middle of yesterday, man, around a bunch of wicked ass niggas, man. Wicked and, ass niggas. And you niggas. just, yeah, and when you're around the wicked too, you just, you just get that bad feeling the whole time. Mm -hmm. It's like you can't wait to get away from them. Right, right. Oof. Look, Proverbs 13 and uh, 20. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise. Actually, let me back it up one. No, that only, no that's cool. I'll read this. No, I'm sorry. Proverbs 13 and 20. He that walketh with the wise, excuse me, he that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. I mean, that's pretty much the point. I should have read it all, but that's the point. A goddamn gang of niggas. Yeah, he to walk with wise men shall be wise. So if you hanging out with us, what are you going to learn? You're going to learn some scriptures. We're going to teach you the scriptures. We're going to teach you some words. We're going to teach you. We bring, we bring people back to righteousness. Yeah, you, you'll you come in retarded and leave a wise man. You know what I mean? 
But what are you going to learn if you're hanging out with the wicked all day? What are they doing all day? They partying. Get a dose of heaviness on your spirit. You know? Because that's what it is. But I'll be paranoid being around wicked people. Yeah, they might take, they might rob you. You know? Talking about, yeah, meet me over here at this spot. Then you show up at that spot and they're not there and you get robbed or something crazy happens. They set you up for anything. They set you up. These people are like a time bomb. They're ticking time. You, never know you don't know it. They they gonna do from moment to moment. Mm -hmm. Then you're like, well, I thought he was a good guy. Right. But you thought wrong. Like that motherfucker up in Detroit the, uh, yesterday or today, the, the bus driver that was killing motherfucker killed six people. I heard about that. Yeah, he just randomly just flipped, man. Just started killing motherfucker. That's the spirit of vengeance. Yeah. You don't know what these these snakes gonna do, man. Nope. They're unstable. Right. Right. Especially now that we push the word out and we push the spirit out. The spirit is they everywhere then, you know? That's how the Lord works. The word gets pushed out, it gets in these people's minds. And yep. You don't know how it's going to react. You don't. You don't know what it can make them right. do. You don't know what's going to happen. You really All you're going to be doing is like, why? <laughs> yeah, like, what? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers out here pouring dicks out and shit. Just from hearing the word. You remember that? <laughs> Motherfucker out here shooting that, That's shit. been more than once. Yeah, right, man. That happened numerous times. Come on, man. That's like a, a thing, though, yeah. You teaching the Bible to make motherfuckers want to pull that shit out. <laughs> man, make some sense out of that. Make Please. some sense out of that. Please help me. And well, we do, know what's going on. Though. And they'll, they'll do it while yelling hell of Satan at the same time. Right. We know it's just the spirits working. Because whenever the truth comes out, the, the evil spirits come with it. Yep. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's fascinating. It's it is fa know, it's definitely fascinating. You know, if you know what's going on, you'd be like, "Wow!" You're always in that state of mind, like, "Wow!" Well, I'm waiting to see the next "Wow." Yeah, you. Yeah, because I don't believe in coincidences. Mm -hmm. We don't see some crazy shit happen out here. You know, with the other camps out there to teach, I mean, if you're Native American, I mean, you're an Israelite, you're in there. No matter what, no matter if you really are a heathen, they'll take you. Just take them, just take them all in. You know what I mean? Because they, they play the numbers game. <laughs> all right, fight heat chips, huh? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You gonna get you one? Hell no. I heard that. What's up, bro? You know about the RFID chip? Oh, okay. Well, soon they just gonna, they already got, uh, the headphone implants, they plant their headphones in the ear. You seen that? Oh, no, no, no. So you don't even gotta take the headphones out, no. they're just permanently in your ear. Oh, For headphones, Bluetooth headphones permanently implanted in your ear. Nah, A lot of people got them. Nah, not surprised. Well, that's, some, that's some crazy shit. Well, you see they already do it to the ears. They get those earrings and they, they what do they call it, the ear yeah, plugs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's getting more popular and popular. You see it more and more people. Some big ass plugs in their ears. You bring it the disease sign. That's bugged out right there, man. Hey. That's all stems from adultery and homosexuality right there. Bestiality. Beast well, you name it, they do it out. <laughs> well I'd start out with homosexuality first. Well adultery is a big problem too. Oh it though. definitely is. You know what I'm saying? There's no such thing as a family in this country no more. You know? Mm -hmm. There is, but it's uh it's dying bad. breed like nuns. Yeah. yeah. That's right. That's Even right. if there is families, you got men with women. Who I can got... appreciate what you're saying there, but there are a lot of people that have families. They so are, but a, a lot of them they got uh wives, got kids from past marriages. <laughs> it's all confusion out here. Yeah, that's that's confusion. That's confusion. confusion. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing too. They're soft killing everybody because they're getting them ready because they have all those chips already in their credit cards, debit cards, yep. and all that. It's, it's a, they do it as increments. Oh, of course. Slowly but surely. They yeah, it's, it's bullshit. Right now, China just. Uh, the hell with China. Well, you, they're just one of the people. Oh, they're, China, they're, the world system, man. Yeah. They're making the chips right now, and they're coming at a 
they're getting oh, the, I know they are. Get the work. I'm all about it. <laughs> I'm not all about it, but I know all about it. Right, right, right. You gotta know about your how a shot. Great. Yeah. They wanna control everything. It's coming. It's coming. And the people gonna love it too. They gonna beg for it. I mean. <laughs> Get out of the country without that RFID passport. Oh yep. Yeah. Throw it in the microwave. They don't want to be able to get around. Right. <laughs> 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 He knows that you can't. You know, he can't teach. He already knows everything. You can't teach him right. You can't teach him. No, he's he he watched Alex Jones. He knows it all. Jake, obviously. Yeah, he definitely. You know, he ain't gonna. His answer is right here. <laughs> you know, like, it takes much more than just. Oh, I see the sign RFID chip. I agree with it. Okay, I'm gone. Thanks, you, guys. Cause you know it is to them. Their scriptures is the Constitution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, yeah, they, yeah. It's, it's yeah. not a scripture to them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or whatever Alex Jones is saying, or whatever fucking uh, crazy bullshit they listen to. <laughs> right. Right. Cause he seems like the type that. Would, Alex Lane. Yeah, Molan Labe. <laughs> I see that oh, video with Alex talking about the chip. I see it. I, the new one? The one that just the came out? One. Yeah, I see it. I watched it. You see the one when uh, the old dude is uh, talking about, uh, uh, what was he talking about? Uh, um, damn. I, I, it slipped my mind. There's just so much information, I can't remember it all. I remember they just put one out yesterday, I think, or it probably came on the radio Friday and they just got it up on YouTube. But it, yeah, there's it, more information coming out on the microchip every day. And they pushing it, cause they just had Max Kaiser on there, on InfoWars. And he was, he know, he's an a expert on the economy. And he said, uh, uh, what was it, Denmark? No, the Netherlands. And the Netherlands is almost already almost totally cashless already. Oh, yeah, I saw that. You know what I mean? I saw that, yeah. yeah. So, so a lot of stores, you go to the Netherlands, most stores don't even accept cash. We're making a music there. Huh? We're making a music Yeah, music. we need some strippers coming down. Yeah, we are, we're singing that new song. Shake that ass, baby. Shake that ass, baby. <laughs> hey, you know, girls see a camera, the first thing they want to do is shake their ass. Yeah. <laughs> but they're, women ain't hoes, though, right? Right, right. Yeah, she started shaking her ass. Her, her ass. That's an intelligent one right there. There's more to her than her ass. It is more to her than her ass. <laughs> She's an intelligent That's all she has to offer to her. <laughs> and that's who, they're probably college students. Most people go to colleges and find ass women like that who, they got it all right here, but there's nothing going on up here. You know what I mean? Echo. <laughs> Yeah, they be looking nice. I mean, they be like perfect oh, yeah. dime pieces out here. That's right, that's right. But you see how the most high is fattening them booties up? Yeah, they booties get fatter by the day yeah, with right. each generation. That's right. The girls didn't look that good when I was a teenager. Oh, God damn. No. That was that was very now these hoes these days, they like thoroughbreds. Yeah. Yeah. But they're retarded and they're all whores. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather give me an ugly hoe than one of them bitches. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But you ain't gonna find no wife out of this kingdom, man. If you you get lucky, the Lord sends you a little something. Though. Cause you got people they be they dreaming, man. You see they be off on the internet, be posting all kind of dumb shit, talking about oh I found met my beautiful Hebrew woman. We studying the scriptures together. Are you crazy? It is. How long is she gonna be a Hebrew? Couple weeks, couple years. This is gonna it's gonna be a fad to her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She like other she like other brothers. She wanna get some, some more gay bands. Right. Cause if you got a woman in the church or whatever, say we have women coming out here with us, which that ain't gonna happen. But that it, it with any church, the woman, all the women are, are wanna get with the head of the church. Right. You know what I mean? That's the head. That's the head. That's the head. And then everybody can start fighting over the women. <laughs> That's why women got no place in this, man. And we'll teach women. You 
Chicago, man. I'll teach anybody that's going here. Anybody that listens? Can that many people listen? Ain't no woman gonna obtain no knowledge. That's why you teach women different things than you would teach a man, though. You teach a woman how to be a woman. And a woman can't teach a woman how to be a woman in this kingdom. Because they ain't women. Because they ain't women. Because your mom's a hoe, her, her mom's a hoe, your great great grandma's a hoe, your auntie's a hoe. All these women are all whores. <laughs> how you got a whore going to teach her? A whore is going to teach you how to be a whore. You know, monkey see, monkey do. You know what I'm saying? Mm. The, the bitches are only doing what they taught. So my sisters did. Because you read the book of Titus, it tells you what a woman's supposed to be teaching on woman. Dude, if this word bugs out men, and if like a man reads the scriptures and it bugs them out, how much more? But when you read to a woman, the woman can't comprehend none of it. Because the women are way more vulnerable. Yeah, they were way more vulnerable. You're right, to the spirits. That's why the serpent went to the uh, to the woman in the Garden of Eden. That, that was, he planned that out from the get. That was premeditated. The servant sat there and thought about that before he did it. Like, I ain't going to Adam. I'm going to go to the bitch first. Mm. This dumbass hoe. Shit, watch this. The devil, yeah. The de like, I was talking about the devil. And the devil started blowing away. But I was talking about Satan, and Satan started to fly away. <laughs> Fuck him. How can, man, these people, how can they get offended by the Bible? You got faggots walking around, transvestites. But the only thing that offends you is the Bible, right? Mm. These people are fucked in the head, man. <laughs> it, this country really is fucked in the head. This is some sick shit. We live in an insane asylum. This nightmare is almost over, man. It really is, man. These, I mean, this, this is a fucked up place to be, man. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, you ain't okay. You gotta get your shine on. <laughs> we always do that when we teach. We scoot down. Next thing you know, we all put down on the corner. Here you go, this is Job 39 and 17. Because the most high hath deprived her of wisdom, neither hath he imparted to her understanding. What time she lifted up her self on high. She scorneth in the course of her rider. It's the woman. A scornful demon. Right, because the woman well, the woman be the first person to laugh at you out here teaching. Oh hell. Like how many times Shit. women women always give it the dirty looks when they walking by. And they be like, they know that they do the when you yep. get that on camera, they be like. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> they be smacking their lips. The bitches be like, I know these niggas ain't out here. Yeah, there's some shit they heard, man. It's just stuck to them. And that's all they, and that's all they hear. Yeah. Yeah, that corner, you gotta take that bad boy back in there. Oh, this page is gone. It's my fourth or fifth page of Genesis. I ain't got Romans, uh, Romans 8 is gone out of mind. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's from music. Man. Yeah. This book got mileage on it, man. Now you go to pass the pork chop, I bet you this is immaculate. Because we be we be we be searching through this Bible. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I got all kind of, my revelation two and nine. You know what scripture got read. Look at my revelation two and nine is fucked up. <laughs> my revelation two, I've done read that so many times. Right, look, right, it's all right, taped up. Right, right. Look, it's it's falling apart. Look at the look at the local pastor's Bibles. Look at there. Look, my revelation too, boy. I done hit that scripture so many times. We'll get that on camera. Hey, hell, look at Nate and all the other motherfuckers. Look at their Bibles. Look like they've never been used. Oh, they got them perfect Bibles. Right, right. You might as well just give all your Bibles to us. Because yeah. I could use some, some more Bibles. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to find another one just like this one. Like well, you were all attached to your beat man. up Bible. I'm going blind and shit. Oh, you're going to get I that. I like these words. Bro. Okay, extra Bibles. Oh, dude. As long as it ain't no skateboarding Bible. Remember the skateboarding Bible we see? <laughs> what? The skateboarding Bible. I had a skate dude doing an ollie on the covers. We seen it in the book club. 
I think I got a picture of it on my phone. Hold on, I'll find it. I'm gonna find it. Hey, get, get Isaiah 34. We're going through that abuse. Uh, Isaiah 34. Uh, I forget what it is. Seek out of the book of the Lord. That's Isaiah 34. Yeah, I know. It's in there. Trust me. It's towards the end of it. Hmm? No, I got another. Uh, that's it. 34 and 16? Yeah, that's it. Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek, out, seek ye out of the book of Yahweh and read. No one, no, no one of these shall fall. So I can read it again. Seek ye out of the book of Yahweh and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. So you saying you found a, a, a skateboard Bible? Yeah, I'm so about to find is what, This is what they did there with their Bible is to decorate the book. Here, it's right here. <laughs> That's it's right here. Let me turn the brightness up on. Oh my goodness! Let me see if I turn my phone brightness up. I put it on camera. Yeah, you know, I, I, I turn the brightness way I do down. The same thing. I don't turn mine down. Yeah, hold up. Yeah, but read that scripture again, what that say? That's funny you read that, because what that scripture you read earlier was talking about the prophecies, how the you know the end is prolonged. Mm -hmm. These prophecies ain't gonna fail. That destruction is surely gonna come. It shall not tarry. <laughs> It's still coming in there. It's coming. Now that's some crazy shit. And that's what that's what they got from the Bible. Let's <laughs> see, see if I can get in on camera. This with our Bible, we write scriptures on You know. I seen this at the bookstore. Right. See that that uh, skateboard Bible. That's the type of shit people are peddling out here. Like, what the fuck? What made you think Isaiah it makes you think of a fucking skateboard? I mean, they'll probably give you some bullshit. Oh, that's how we try to get the word to the youngsters to make it cool and hip. Now, that's how you get destroyed doing shit like that. The Bible is cool enough without a skateboard. Yeah, that's that wolf cussing off that net. Yep. That's a net. Because you know it's a jacked up translation. Ain't no King James. It's a ball faggot translation. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I read, we read some of these new Bibles on camera, and it, it, it is, they twist scriptures. Like re, they change Revelation two and nine. And remember, we had that, that we had the, uh, the extreme Bible out here. Remember that? I remember that. It had uh, people repelling on the cover with somebody surfing on it. And we read Revelation two and nine. You know how it talks about the synagogue of Satan, <laughs> and it says it doesn't say uh, those who say they are Jews and are not. It changes it said to my people or something. It twisted it. It just totally changed the whole scripture. It changed the entire meaning of it. So you gotta be wary of all these different Bible translations. Yeah, it'll say different words. They take black out of it. Yeah. That's why the Lord sent, them, sent these people teachers. To tell them what's right and what's wrong, you know? Yep. That's why we are here. Cause they get them with that, oh, this is the modern English. Well, modern English is so fucked in the head. All this new speak they got. All this slang in the Bible. This is Revelation 1 and 3. Blessed is he that readeth. Oh, <laughs> blessed is he that readeth. Keep going. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. Of this prophecy. And keep those things which are written therein. And you see how all these scriptures link up in perfect cohesion. People always say, there's so many contradictions in the Bible. Show me the contradictions. Me Lord, all me. I see is he reads a scripture out of Isaiah, which is saying the same thing as Revelation. And all everything just goes together. You know what I'm saying? It's like a glove on a hand. Right. And keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. The time is at hand. 
That goes right with that Isaiah. Seek ye out that book and the read. Now, that single one of these is going to fail. That's spirit, because you was talking about that, uh, was that Ezekiel? About the prolonged something? Yeah. yeah. That goes right with that Ezekiel. Yes. And then that goes right with Habakkuk. I'm going to get it's Habakkuk true. now. It all goes together. This is, that's how you know that this, this really is the word of the most high. That's right. You ain't going to see nobody out here with no suit. Sumerian cuneiform tablets Woo! linking up tablets together. They're going to come out here with a cart. Like, hold up. Help me pull this. <laughs> they got, you know what I'm saying? More you know, like, oh, I, I can't even read cuneiform. That's some crazy shit. Luke 24 and 44. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses yep. and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. In then the opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. And and, he, I'm sorry. Uh, it, yes, I have to. Read, to uh, read that again. I, I got, I'm going to get a precept of what you just read. You start to talk. Yeah. Okay. Uh, try to get it. Luke 24 and 43. And he took it and did it before them. And he said unto them, these are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scripture and said unto them, Thus is it written, and thus it behooved the anointed to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day. And then that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. The people, not we ain't gonna physically go to Jerusalem. It's Jerusalem, the people. Yep, because Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Right, that's hard to understand, man. I don't understand. They just don't get that. They just don't understand it. You know, that's just simple. gonna have to go, go to Jerusalem right now. Jerusalem about to get nuked. Yeah, I ain't going up in there. You know? Jerusalem, man, it's a hot spot, man. No Arabs can't wait to get their hands on on the motherfucking uh, on Amalek, man. Turkey, Turkey raising hell right now. Yeah, that's in the last place you want to be. Well, you know, Turkey is clowning right now, man. It's like they don't even give a fuck. They just going, they going into Syria. Period. The Most High is making them go into Syria. Hey, Saudi hey. Arabia. Just like uh. No, the, when the most high, even though that's the worst thing Turkey could ever do, it's and, and, and it's against all of their interests, because they will get destroyed. <laughs> right. But the most high hardened their hearts, yeah, yeah. just like he hardened the Pharaoh's yeah. heart. He's making them go in. That's the most high doing that. Yeah. And how many troops did Saudi Arabia from Damascus? Because how stupid is it, is it to go to war with Russia? Oh, that's the dumbest thing you could ever do. And yeah, they're going to do it. And the United States is going to do it. Yeah, they're going to do it. They're going to do it. That's the, that's the dumbest thing you can do, but they're going to do it. Ask Carl just, 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 just like the Pharaoh is the dumbest thing he could have did. Right, right. What did you say about Carter? What? Ask Carter did an interview the other day. It was a live interview. I watched it. was pretty bad, man. He was talking about how Saudi Arabia and the, the, all the, the military they have, man, as far as people go, not, not hardware, but the people, man. Yeah. Man, those motherfuckers ready to go to war, man. They ready to go to war, man. And the United States, is, Ash Carter pretty much said that we ain't we ain't turning our kids. He said it in so many words. We are going in there, period. They going in. Yeah, he, they're going in. Man, they've been playing this thing for years. Yeah, they're going in. That's why Obama's asking more funding for Ukraine and Syria. And they're going to get that funding. Oh, yeah. Billions of dollars. I was going to read a scripture that said that the things in the Psalms got to be fulfilled. But where do you read? That Luke, where is it? Where was you at just now, John? Luke 24. I was oh, Luke. Luke. I was in Luke 24. Yeah, Luke. Okay. I'm gonna read this. Uh, yeah, that was Luke 24 and 44. All right. I'm gonna just start at the top. Psalms 22 and 1. My power, my power. Why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from helping me and from the words of my ruin? Oh, my power, I cry in the daytime, but thou hearest not. And in the night season, and am not silent, but thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. 
Our fathers trusted in thee, they trusted and thou didst deliver them. Just like they delivered our forefathers from the hands of the Pharaoh. Mm. They cried unto thee and were delivered. They trusted in thee and were not confounded. But I am a worm, man, a reproach of men and despised of the people. Of Israel despised the Lord. That's right. that, the Lord, they crucified the Lord. Crucify him. And, and, crucify and, him. And then what a Pontius Pilate said, What, you want to have me crucify your king? Pilate's like, These motherfuckers are crazy. You want, you want to crucify your king? They said, We have no king but Caesar. Mm -hmm. Crucify him. Crucify him. They said, Crucify him. You know, they said with a loud shout. Yeah. Hey, let's get that. Get that. We got to bring that out. Listen to the end of John. All they that see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot out the lip. That's what these people do. It's, reading this just makes you, you know, makes you think about these nasty, filthy people out oh, here. You supposed to have love for them? Because I, you just see all the different faces that did that to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Just go. You know how you see the? It's like a. Uh, you, just, you just get them flashbacks. All they that see see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot out the lip. They shake their head, saying, "He that trusted." On Yahweh that he would deliver him, let him deliver him, seeing he delighted in him. But thou art he that took me out of the womb and didst make me hope when I was upon my mother's breast. I was cast upon thee from the womb, thou art my power from my mother's belly. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. Many bulls have compassed me, strong bulls of Bashan have possessed me round. They gaped upon me with their mouths as a ravening and a roaring lion. That's how these people are, man. You get devoured by these savages. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted in the midst of my bowels. And just think what the Lord was going through when he got crucified. People scorning. He, he, they, they, they stripped him naked in front of everybody. He was butt naked on that cross. You know what I mean? Just, just, just the, the ultimate humiliation. He said, I am poured out. Oh, I just read that. My strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue cleaveth to my jaws, and thou hast brought me into the dust of death. For dogs have compassed me. The assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. I'm saying they pierced the Lord's hands and his feet that he's on that cross. And he, was, and he said that he was compassed by dogs. There you go. This is oh, all right, let me read this last part. I might tell thee, I may tell all my bones, they look and stare upon me. They part my garment, garments among them and cast lots upon my vesture. But be thou not far from me, O Lord, O my strength has thee to help me. Yeah, because when the Lord's crucified, that they fulfilled the scripture right here. They, they took his, uh, the little bit of garments he had and they cast the lots for him. You know what I mean? They're like, we're going to get paid off of this. Go ahead. Right. This is Luke 23, and I'm starting at 13. And Pilate, when he had called together the chief priests and the rulers of the people, said unto them, You have brought this man unto me as one that perverted the people. And behold, I, I having examined him before you, have found no fault in this man touching those things wherein Jesus choose him. And that's the devil just that was a goddamn Edomite that said that. Yeah. Even the devil couldn't find fault in, but two thirds, oh, we're dealing with some wicked, rebellious people. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. No, nor yet Herod, for I sent you to him, and lo, nothing worthy of death is done unto him. I will therefore chastise him and release him. For of necessity. He must release one unto them at the feast. Oh, and yeah. they cried out all at once, saying, Away with this man, and release unto us Barabbas. So they got to choose. They can let somebody go. We're going we to release the Lord, or we're going to release a robber and a criminal. Go ahead. And they chose the criminal. Mm. They chose Barabbas, a piece of shit. He's the same people. Yeah, it's the same people now. So mm. he's pretty much, it, Barabbas is back in the reincarnation. We see Barabbas is everywhere. Oh, man, you see. The spirit of Barabbas <laughs> is all over these fools. Yeah. Who for a certain sedition made in the city and for murder was cast into prison. Pilate, therefore, 
willing to release Yahawashai, spake again to them. But they cried, saying, Crucify him! Crucify him! And he said unto them the third time, Why? What evil has he done? I have found no cause of death in him. I would therefore chastise him and let him go. And they were instant with loud voices, requiring that he might be crucified. And the voices of them and of the chief priests prevailed. And Pilate gave sentence that it should be as they required. And he released unto him them him that for sedition and murder was cast into prison, whom they had desired, but he delivered Yahweh Shai to their will. They some evil people. And you see that look in these people's faces too, man. Same people. You know, they, they, they'd rather... Same people. They, they love their slave masters, you know what I'm saying, more than the Lord. Love evil. They love evil. Mm. They will always choose evil over good. Why well, is to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. They got no knowledge. Mm. 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 You tell me these scriptures ain't bad, man. Hey, get that John. We're going to read the rest of that. Uh, let me see. Uh, John... sake I have borne reproach, shame have covered my face, I have become a stranger unto my brethren, and an alien unto my mother's children, for the zeal of thine house have eaten me up, and the reproaches of them that reproached thee have fallen upon me, when I wept and chastised my soul with fasting uh, that was to my reproach, I made sackcloth also my garment, and became a proverb to them, they that sat in the gates back against me, and I was a, the song of drunkards. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's how they do you. What's that? Uh, what's that? They say song of David, don't it? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's how Jake does you, man. What did they do to the prophets? They tell you that Hebrews. They stoned the prophets. They sawed, sawed them asunder. You see what uh, Ahab did with Jezebel, that slut. They, they killed all the prophets. They, they killed so many prophets, the remaining Obadiah, and then they had to go hide out in the cave. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you see what, uh, all, all, the, all the disciples were, were all, most of them were all crucified, slain for teaching the gospel. And I guarantee you it was Israelites who turned them in. Shit, it was Judas. Judas was one of the twelve. He he ratted on the Lord. Yeah, I'm gonna get a uh, uh, John. You take a thorough study in these scriptures, man. You, it's easy to understand how these people think. Yeah, you, it, it, it it gives you the yeah, it's the it's the blueprint. Yeah. Your eyes is open. You see every you see that creature. You do see it. You know, because they really do. They have no king but Caesar. Yeah. Like you, they have, you tell them, you know, that the, what the government's doing and violating everybody's rights. They're like, no, that's good. We need taxes. We need cops. We need cops to stop the crime. And, you know, they're just constantly taking up for their oppressors. So they, they like good. I mean, they, what's that scripture, man? John 3 and 18. Let me get that real quick before I bounce back here. They justify wickedness, man. I'm gonna get it. They justify wickedness. That's amazing. This scripture right here sums up this whole this whole society. John 3 and 19. And this is the condemnation. The light is coming to the world, 
and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Mm. That's these people. Mm. Let me get this John 18 and 33. We're going to go back to the crucifixion again. Then Pilate entered into the judgment hall again and called Yahawashai and said unto him, Art thou the king of the Jews? Yahawashai answered him, Sayest thou this thing of thyself, or did others tell it thee of me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Pilate, Pilate wasn't no Jew. Thine own nation, listen, thine own nation, and the chief priest had delivered thee unto me. What hast thou done? Yahawashai answered, he said, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then my servants fight. Let me read that again. I messed it up. My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then my servants fight. That I should not be delivered to the Jews, but now is my kingdom not from hence. Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? Yahawashai answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. To this end was I born, and for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. That, sucks. that, that is deep right there when you think about that. He said, Everyone that heareth my voice is of the truth, or everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. So if you, if you don't get this, you're not, you're not of the truth. Uh, where's the other part? I got it. I'm going to read this right here. I'm going to skip down to John 19 and uh, 10. Then Pilate, uh, then saith Pilate unto him, Speakest thou not unto me? Knowest thou not that I have power to crucify thee and have power to release thee? Yahawashai answered, Thou couldst have no power at all against me except it were given thee from above. Therefore he that delivereth me unto thee hath the greater sin. Going back to Israel again. Remember, even before that, Pilate said, Your own nation delivered me. Own people. Your own people. Because our own people are our worst enemies. That's why the Lord said those of your own household is your own worst mm. enemy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? First you got your first house, which is your family. Then your other house is your nation. Uh, and from thenceforth, Pilate sought to release him. But the Jews cried out, saying, If thou let this man go, thou art not Caesar's friend. Whosoever maketh himself a king speaketh against Caesar. When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he brought Yahawashai forth and sat down in the judgment seat in a place that is called the pavement, but in the Hebrew, Gabbatha. And it was the preparation of the Passover and about the sixth hour. And he saith unto the Jews, Behold your king. They cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate saith unto them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, We have no king but Caesar. I mean, that's, a, that's the point right there. They, just pulled, they had no king but Caesar. You know what I'm saying? But they suffer from Stockholm Syndrome. Here you go, Jose. Do y'all suffer from Stockholm Syndrome? Unfortunately, uh, no. That's Esau. <laughs> What's up, Esau? So he, he don't know what captivity is or oppression. Even Esau is oppressed by his own people too. Facts. Fucking facts. Fucking parasites. Hosea uh, 4 and 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Because there is no truth nor mercy. It is no truth or mercy out here. None. Nor knowledge of the most high in the land. There's nothing but predators out here on the prowl. Right. Just looking to devour the weak. That's all it is. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing, 
and committed adultery, they break out and blood touches blood. Well, that's all. That's that, that's all we see. Therefore, shall the land mourn, and every one that is dwelleth therein shall languish, and the beast of the field, and with the fowls of heaven, yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Yet let no man strive nor reproach another, for thy people are as they that strive with the priests. Therefore shalt thou fall in the day, and the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night, and I will destroy thy mother. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Right. Yet thou shalt no more be a priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of the power, of thy power I will also forgive thy children. As they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore will I change their glory into shame. They eat up the sin of my people, and they set their heart on their iniquity. And there shall be like people, like priests, and I will punish them for their ways and reward them for their doings. For they shall eat and not have enough. They shall commit whoredom and shall not increase because they have left off to take heed to the Lord. That's it. Yeah, so these people, they're going to be destroyed. Like I said, the old classic scripture, the, uh, oh, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And these people, they despise knowledge, man. And that's why they destroyed. Because they don't know nothing about like simple shit like fluoride being in the water. Oh, you know what I was researching? I seen uh, today. You know that that drug uh, was a Adderall. They give to the, uh, ch children. They got ADHD. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got the same. Adderall. It's got the same chemical makeup. It's nearly identical to crystal meth. Yeah, they're sniffing Adderall. That's sick. why people, it's the same thing as crystal meth. Yeah. That's how The chemical makeup. Same shit. No. Near, well, nearly identical on the, on the molecular right. level. Chemistry, add this or take away something. Yeah, because a, a chemist came out and broke it down. And it was, you look at the molecules, it's nearly identical. You ever seen a kid on that shit, man, how they acting? They're like a zombie. Yeah. You know, but you've been slow, but, the reflexes but, are gone. But a, a single mother, she going to. Do whatever she's told. Right, if the yeah, school says yeah. the kid gets medication, guess massive, yeah, and yeah. she goes and gives them, does yeah. everything yeah. they want them to do. Yeah, the ostrich listens to that shit. Yep. An ostrich. So these bitches are a bunch of demons, man. Goddamn ostrich. I gotta look at an ostrich and study and see. I hate that. That's a cold. I use the ostrich. Oh, it really, you should. Like I'm gonna do that, man. Okay, that's a that's a hideous looking being. An ostrich, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's all hideous. Ostrich. It, ostrich. Probably bite your face off. There's something to it. Is that the one that got be set on one leg? Sometime? Yeah. Well, that's the flamingo. The ostrich oh, is the ones that's real ostrich. fast. Yeah. You heard yeah. the the Robinson family, right. Swiss family Robinson right. was riding on them. Right. Right. <laughs> oh hell no. Hell no. Ostrich. I just remember that shit. But it, all birds are cold blooded. I don't trust cold blooded animals. You don't know what they're gonna do. That's like trying to charm a poisonous snake. A snake charmer. You're gonna get bit by that snake. You keep fucking with it over there. That's where you get the word cold blooded from. Cause these hoes out here, these women, they cold blooded. You know what I mean? like a motherfucker. It's good. You flood like a motherfucker. Flood. <laughs> That's what we call it, ain't it? Yeah, flood. flood. Oh, yeah. Floods. It's a high tide today. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one, one time when I was little, I had some floods. I, I was begging my mom, please don't make me go to school. Now you're going to school. Right, yeah. I used to cut the seams out, make a little, oh, add a little like, bit to it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's how you do it. Yeah, I remember them days. Yeah. Give you some raggedy ass clothes. I remember them have days. Have to go to school. Where, I remember one year of school, I only had two pairs of pants for the whole year. So I try to put two pairs of pants on rotation yeah, to last like a me. week. Same as me. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And, and then one day some bits of school like, how come you only got two pairs of pants? I'm like, damn! I didn't take nobody you know, notice. That's funny as hell, because the Chinese teacher pulled me out in the hall and she was like, you don't have to go, you're gonna have to change your clothes. You know? Right, that's all I got. She told me, I mean that's all I had, man. Shit. She told me, you gotta change your clothes, honey. She was nice about you, sweet about it. Yeah. I still remember that. That was seventh grade. Damn, 
that's a great I was into that year. <laughs> seven, I'm not lying. That's, <laughs> seven grand was a rough year, bro. Yeah, seven and eight. Bro. That was we was real poor that year. I remember that shit. Man, I was poor all through the year. <laughs> but that was just a year where it was real bad. I, I had no had it bad. I had no clothes that whole year. Yeah, I don't remember having a good time. I remember when you were younger, you didn't care. Yeah. When you got a little older, conscious. Want some Especially you got caught with some shot stain shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> they bite, they bite. How you got different shot stains? <laughs> Damn. Oh, man, I it's a, it's a, you gotta play a game out here. What is it? Wicked ass Israel. I ain't through with Israel. The most I ain't through with Israel. <laughs> <laughs> I, hate him. I really hate him too, man. I mean, you're supposed to, you know, you, you're supposed to pray for these fools. But some of them, they, you just got to pray that the Lord just destroys them. What is the I'm going to get it real quick. I'll prove it. I just ain't. I'm going to get that Galatians real quick while you're getting that. Father, please forgive them for they know not what they do. Some of these fools, they know what they do. They know they ain't no good. And they enjoy it. Galatians 1 and 8. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. So that's, we put curses on fools. If they're not teaching the truth, man, we pray the Lord curses. And that's scriptural. The Lord, if the Lord loved everybody so so greatly, then how come he started whipping people with a whip? Explain that one. The Lord went up in the temple with a whip and started whacking fools. He even started whipping the animals. What's that? He got a picture. That'd be a holy relic to get a hold of. You know how they got the holy relics? I wonder if someone still got that whip somewhere. Oh, not the exact oh, one. Not, exact. not the one. You're right. <laughs> you know that. You know what? Because you know, because you know that used to be a big thing. I ain't gonna go there and say they don't got it, man. Because somebody might have it. Yeah, right. Because you know they got the whole the, the spear of destiny and the uh, the holy cross. They said Constantine's mother went to Jerusalem and dug up the cross that he was crucified on. Damn. I mean, you know, because that used to be a big thing back in the day, the holy relics. Pray not, for, pray not now for this people. Yeah, either. pray not. Pre Listen, pray not now for this people. The hell with these people. Read it. Either lift up a crown. Hey, start from the beginning. Therefore, pray not. Therefore, pray not now for this people. Israel, keep on. Need to lift up a cry of prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time, in the trouble, and, and they. It's like, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for the trouble. Right. Yeah, they know the damn what they doing is wrong. Yeah, right. That's the spirit you're supposed to be into. Yeah, the hell with these people, man. Welcome to the motherfucker. I'm praying for you. Because the Lord said in John 3 and 18, it said, Who that believeth on me is not condemned, but who believeth not is condemned already. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's the condemnation that's come in the world that, that men love darkness rather than light. And that's what that's the Lord's words in John 3. Yeah, yeah, we went from summer to winter. That breeze picked up. <laughs> That's all right, though. Yeah. Hey, we got it a good this winter. Week. It ain't last week. No, last week was cold. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give a fuck about today. Yeah, this is we. This is smooth sailing this year, though. Yeah, yeah. we had a break, man. We really did. So I'm thinking next year is gonna be some shit. The last last winter was brutal. If we make it. The last three winters were brutal. Yeah, yeah. Last year went back to me. Oh, you see, yeah, last week he had a he had a snow fro. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. He looked like a uh, like a snow cone. <laughs> they might be doing that on purpose because my internet is pretty out here. Oh yeah. Shit. My internet in my house goes off every Tuesday like clockwork. It's like they purposely cutting cutting us off every Tuesday. What the fuck? They probably doing to save money. Probably cut off a whole neighborhood on each day. Yeah, they like inconvenience. They said Facebook did a study 
and they is purposely blocking people from blocking certain people from their site for like a week at a time just to see if they would come back and use their service again after it started working again. I think they came up with a name for it. They were, they were trying to come up with a name for people's addiction for Facebook and Twitter and shit like that. Because well, they're going to probably come out with a drug. Here's your, here's your Facebook drug. It is addictive. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I mean, I, I don't need no internet, man. Because I go places now without my phone and shit, man. I don't want to be tracked every fucking way. I still buy books. You know? I like to lay in bed with a real book. You can't, because you know what I'm saying? What if my hard drive crashes? That shit happens all the time. Yeah, like the candle. Especially them old, them old school hard drives. This shit, I got a whole graveyard of hard drives. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no retrieving that data unless you go to a specialist. So it's good to get a lot of them important books, man. Get hard copies. The internet go down, you, wanna, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a good way to pass time. Yeah. Read, read. Electricity go Six out. Yep, light a candle. Yeah, we, read, we read now yep. we, with internet, you yep. know? Oh, yeah. You know? Yep. I love reading, man. Especially the dictionary and the Bible. Yep. Yep. Well, obviously, we read a Bible. But my number two book is a dictionary, boy. Oh, man. Oh, man. I, get, I just read the dictionary. I need to do more of that. Though. Yeah. I do do a lot of research on words, but you just gotta, sit down and just read the dictionary. That's why you, you got to keep a dictionary right by the toilet. You go take a dump, you read the definition. <laughs> well, no, I keep a dictionary right by the toilet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You always in occupied and doing something. Yeah. You know, laying down, taking a nap or whatever you pay. You audio put audio Bible. Oh, that's why I do. when I go to sleep, I put on audio books, yeah. uh, history yeah. lectures. There you go. There you go. I don't listen to everything. I'm mean, why in everything. I don't listen to all kind of shit. Right, right, right. And sometimes right. you get the sleepy eyes. You can't read. Or you just ain't, or I'm a work, while I'm a working, I listen to audio books. Just listen, yeah, just listen. You're gonna learn listen. Yep. And sometimes they, they got them good audio books. They have a woman with a pleasing voice reading it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I ain't found no one with no women what? yet. Oh, man. I, I hope find, I do. I found a couple of them. <laughs> well, some of them you might, you get a bad one, man. You get some hit. I was trying to listen to, uh, there's a history of the Roman Empire book, The Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire by uh, Gibbons. That's a famous book. But one section of the book was read by a fucking Hindu. Oh. How you gonna have a Hindu reading Roman Empire? Not that sound. Not that sound. A Hindu. Yeah, that's a foul sound. I couldn't even listen to that part of the book. That's a heathen. I got to go read that part myself. Yeah, that's a heathen. <laughs> <laughs> a Hindu. Yeah, what the fuck? Nothing like a Hindu. That's man. totally incompatible, though. Yeah. History of the Roman Empire read by a Hindu. I'll take your Spanish or Italian. Italian is uh, I, I like the way Italians talk with their Italian. They speak English with that Italian accent. <laughs> this is a... Yeah, this is... Shit, Italian languages, period. All the, all the Latin languages. You know, this is, Spanish is the most beautiful of them all. Chinese. Yeah. Of modern spoken languages, anyway. With the Latin. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, man. Because you be reading... Yeah, the Spanish... Really speak, Spanish sounds like, you talking about romance, it sounds like Spanish language just sounds so smooth, man. It's like you can really mack on a hoe with that language. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, you see yellow. It's like, so, and English is like a, like a barbarian language. That's all the way he talks. Well, English is the, uh, English is a combination of all languages, actually. Because English ain't really English. You read some real English, it's old English, which you, you can't even, it doesn't even make sense. Mo modern English is not real English. Because modern English is a combination of all kind of languages. You know what I mean? Ever since the Normans conquered England, they, they totally changed the language. Started mixing all those French and Latin words with English and everything went downhill from there. That's the Texas You know Beowulf. They made a movie. Uh, I know what you're talking about. Just Texas Yeah. 
That's not that's not that's not for me. That's not for me. Here, me, you can my phone. Me, W, W, U, W, L, F. I mean, it's it's the most famous thing written in Old English, I think. The King James Bible is not Old English. That's Middle English. Even, okay. even, even the original one is Middle English. B. 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 E. O. Bayo. Wolf. W. U. L. F. And you can find they got the original Old English text. I think the Canterbury Tales are written in Old English. Oh, 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 I remember the book. I remember seeing it. Yeah, they made a bunch of movies about it too. But you ever hear the Canterbury Tales? Yeah, yeah. That's a. You know, so the language of the Anglo-Saxons. Man, they got they got Bible uh, Bibles written in the Old English. You know, originally English language was written in runes too. Cause you know, today we don't use uh, the the English alphabet. We use the Latin alphabet. Which it all goes back to Hebrew though. Even runes and the Latin all goes back to Hebrew. Cause you, if you look at the rune characters, you can see similarities between the runes and the Hebrew. Just like, well the Latin is almost, the, uh, you know, match for match Hebrew. Cause the A's and A in Latin is the A in Hebrew. Just like the A in Greek is A in Hebrew. Same with the A, B, A, B, G. Be a whole nother video. That shit can be drawn out. Yep. Even this, there's even similarities between uh, you know, runes and Latin alphabet. Like the H in runes. The H is a H. It looks like a H. It all goes back to Hebrew. Yep. Close to Hebrew. They call they call the most high Yahweh. Exact name. Yep. Got it on the stone. Just like stone. did that book uh, the the Elder Tahar got everybody hip to. The history of the American Indian by James Adir, written in 1774, I think, or something like that. And he says in that book that the Native Americans are Israelites and that they called God Yahweh. Yeah, that he's expensive to sell too. Yeah, but you can read it on uh, online though, just it's, they got the text right there. Yeah. Book is like a damn $200. Yeah, for an original copy? That's a 200 year old book. That should be worth more than that. So they got Spider Man comics worth thousands. That just came out in the 60s. Ain't nobody buying a book anyway. No, man. Yeah, ain't no demand for knowledge. They got, yeah, fantasy sells better, you know. It's an amazing book. I remember reading a lot of it. Yeah, it's an amazing book. I still, I send, I send people links to it all the time still. And they be like, oh, there's no evidence or record of that. And I'm like, oh, really? This guy lived with him for years or something. That's right. So Yep. And he said he knew for his... So you know he had to be a J. Uh, what's it doing? Yep. Oh, yeah, and they I'm said... And you see this devil, they tried to say the Native Americans didn't have an alphabet. Mm -hmm. But you got the low spoon of stone. They don't want you to know... Even Glenn Beck, that big weirdo, but he, on his show, it's a famous video on YouTube. They found multiple artifacts here in Ohio with, with, with the Most High's name written in ancient Hebrew. Right here in Ohio. I guess they were savages. They were savages, right? Even, and you know, when people think of idiots, they're so uneducated. They think they all lived in uh, teepees. No, they lived in houses. <laughs> Actual houses. You know what I'm saying? With walls, doors. That's fucking amazing. That shit is amazing. Because uh, people got that Hollywood image. That's why Hollywood, that's a form of black magic. 